Hi, I'm Samira. I'm the Education Content Developer here at Prodigy Game. Playing math games in class will not only engage your students, but help you develop their skills and fact fluency to supplement lessons. So here are five math games for first to eighth grade teachers that you can play with and without computers. Number one, math baseball. Divide your class into two teams to play math baseball. One team will start at bat, scoring runs by choosing questions worth one, two, or three bases. If the at-bat team answers incorrectly, the defending team can respond correctly to earn an out. After three outs, switch sides. Number two, math facts bingo. Make fact fluency drills engaging by playing this version of bingo. First, create bingo cards that contain answers to different multiplication tables. Second, hand them out to students and make sure they have a separate sheet for calculations. Finally, instead of calling numbers, state equations such as 7 times 8. After determining the product is 56, they can check out the number if it's on their cards. Number 3. Prodigy Sign up for Prodigy, a free curriculum-aligned math video game to engage students as you reinforce content and skills. It borrows elements from role-playing games such as Pokemon as players compete in math duels against in-game characters. To win, they must answer a set of questions. As a teacher, you can customize these questions to supplement class material. The game also uses adaptive learning and differentiated instruction principles to adjust content, addressing each student's trouble spots. Number four, math goodies. Try math goodies for engaging and interactive lessons online. The free website appeals to diverse learners by featuring puzzles, articles, and word problems. Linked with the site's content, students can, for instance, read an example-filled walkthrough about how to order decimals. Then they can test their skills by completing exercises and challenges. Number five, Simon Says Geometry. Appeal to kinesthetic learners by playing this version of Simon Says and in the process improve the understanding of basic geometry. As Simon, all your commands should require students to illustrate angles and shapes by moving their arms. For example, ask them to make angles of varying degrees as well as parallel and perpendicular lines. Continuously speed up your commands and change if they come from Simon or not, until one student remains and is the winner. For more classroom tips and tricks, be sure to check out our blog.